so welcome to another video of stm32 microcontroller series and in today's video we will simply learn how to upload bootloader to stm32 microcontroller and after uploading bootloader you can simply upload any code to it directly via usb port so for this we need a usb to ttl converter and after uploading bootloader you can simply upload any arduino code directly via usb port as shown here and the best part about it is there is no need to shift from jumper to jumper 1 that is jumper 0 to 1 for this you need to make a connection between usb to ttl and stm32 so make a connection like this use a tx and rx of usb ttl to stm32 that is pa9 and pa10 you need to supply 3.3 volt or 5 volt and also ground so I have assembled as shown in the figure. So this is TX and RX. This is connected to PA9 and PA10. We have also connected 3B3 to 3B3 and ground to ground. You need to make the connection exactly like this. Now for this we need STM32 flash loader that is used to flash code. And similarly for getting driver you need STM32 USB driver and you need a boot file as well. So all the links are given in the description below. You can simply download from that. So this is the STM32 flash loader. So simply open this file and install it. So I am just installing it. So click on next, next. Remember one thing, there will be no shortcut file created on desktop. So you need to remember the location where the file is installed so that you can directly open from it. So I have copied the STM32 flash loader location and I have pasted it here. So simply open it. No port is detected. So now you can see this shift the jumper 0 to jumper 1. And now connect the USB cable. When you connect USB cable, port will be automatically detected. So I have connected like this. So now you can see it is getting supply and LEDR glow. Now press the reset button after shifting from jumper 0 to 1. So you can see the port is automatically detected. No need to make any changes to it. Simply click on next. So you can see target is readable. Make sure to check connection else the target won't be readable. Click on next. So it will automatically detect this and this will be the address click on next and here you need to check it out that is tick mark it verify after download click on this three dot and find the file of bin so the, i have already given the link select it and open it now simply click on next so you can see the downloading is going on and you can see the own led on USB to TTL is blinking. That is the on board LED is blinking. So after downloading is completed, it will verify download. So after it is verifying download, it will see green signal like this indicating you have successfully flashed bootloader. So now without making it off, shoot from jumper 0 to some jumper 1 to jumper 0 and connect USB cable. Now you can remove USB to TTL converter cable and other connection. So I have successfully removed it. Now open your Arduino and click on example. At below you can find STM32 examples. So we will start with the basic. So click on blinking. So it is like this. Now you need to edit this file as the onboard LED on STM32 is at PC13. So make it PC13. Now go to tools and make this. Select a generic STM32 F103C. Uploading method is STM32 Duno bootloader. Frequency 72 megahertz. Okay, and optimize this for no, no port is detected. So for detecting the port, you need to install STM32 USB driver. So open this folder and click on drivers 
and install maple driver so it will automatically install it you can also update the driver from manager that is device manager okay finally the driver are installed okay so you can see the driver is also installing again okay done now open the tools and open the port again it is still not showing the driver so it happens with only some stm32 so you need to connect 1.5 kilo ohm resistor between 3 volt 3 and pa2l 1.5 kilo ohm only if no usb port is detected so make this connection now go to tools and now you can see a port is detected that is com7 port that is maple mini so now your stm32 is capable of taking the code that is now you can simply upload the code so simply compile this sketch and upload so you can see something written like this that is you have successfully uploaded code and resetting usb to switch back to runtime mode now you can see there is a onboard led which is blinking after one second as it was given in the code you can also uh, solder this 1.5 kilo ohm register for permanent use thanks for watching for more visit my official website www.howtoelectronics.com